did Max Weber purposely misinterpret Buddhism? Max Weber has been responsible for spreading the misconception that Gautama Buddha was concerned with individual nirvana and had nothing to do with the welfare of the society. In his book, Religions of India, Weber says, Salvation is an absolutely personal performance of the self-reliant individual. No one, and particularly no social community, can help him. The specific a social character of genuine mysticism is here carried to its maximum. However, nothing can be more confusing and misleading than this. Unlike other religions, Gautama Buddha does not believe either in a revealed text or a creator god or the one whose grace leads to salvation. So nirvana or salvation or perfection can be attained by man solely through his efforts by understanding the Four Noble Truths and practicing the Eightfold Path. Gautama Buddha emphatically says that enlightenment is not a person but a state and enlightenment is an achievement. In the Dharmapada 1 is to 4, Gautama Buddha says one should first establish oneself in what is proper and then instruct others. Such a wise one will never become stained. In other words, if the personal life of a person is immoral and questionable, he is not fit to serve the society. As long as a person is practicing the eightfold path and seeking nirvana, that is perfection, he has to be engaged in individual, personal and private effort. However, once he believes and achieves enlightenment, he voluntarily participates in the worldly activities with detachment. He becomes the one who according to the Bhagavad Gita is Jivan Mukta. Gautama Buddha himself can be cited as a paradigine. When Gautama Buddha was doing penance to achieve nirvana, he did so all by himself, remaining completely aloof and cut off from the society. But once he attained enlightenment, he rushed to Sarnath to share his newly acquired knowledge and technique of the middle path with his four friends in particular and with the society in general. According to Gautama Buddha, Nirvana can be attained by practicing the four Brahma Viharas, cardinal virtues, namely Maitri, that is universal friendship, Karuna, that is universal pity, Mudita, happiness in the prosperity and well-being of others, and Upeksha, indifference to any kind of preferential treatment for oneself, one's family, friends, one's enemy, or a different third party. The purpose of meditation on these virtues is to overcome the difference between the happiness of himself and that of others. The other, so as to say, is extinguished. The duality of the character vanishes. The effect of Brahma Vihar, therefore, is to diminish all egoism. Gautama Buddha emphasized using pleasant words in communication with others, Priya Vichara, restoring of beneficial actions, Attacharya, and equality, Samanta. An analysis of the above shows the extent to which Gautama Buddha was keen to bring peace, harmony and brotherhood among the society members. How to help humanity get rid 
of the tyranny of suffering was Buddha's only concern. In achieving this goal, he was guided by the maxim for the good of the many, for the happiness of the many. Swami Vivekananda was the first Indian to recognize that the unique element in Buddhism is also its social element. So before you read the Western philosophers, their views and comments, please feel free to divulge more into our Vedic texts to know your Sanatan culture better. Thank you.